so crystal clear on the screen. Objection on that. A bunch of little ballerinas over in the building here. <laughs> Go around the corner, they're all around the glass, and they're kind of cute. You know, there's like 40 little girls in there stretching and doing all those stuff. Yeah, they have some water leaks at their other building. I heard they had mold and some other issues in there that's causing problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they've moved in there for a year. I haven't anywhere it goes. Good, good. No, are they going to put any screens up on the windows or are they going to? No, I told them they couldn't. Good. <laughs> So we'll we'll see how. Yes, yeah, it's it's not goes. a problem. It's just was I go like oh cool. Sometimes it is a problem. Is it? Yeah, there's a couple. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. A couple people downtown that yep. take advantage of it. Yep. So we'll see. Be careful. Good point. There's a there's an office across the street. It's yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think it's cute when you drive down and see them all dancing. It is. Yeah, it's great. All right. 
let's get started. All right, I am Chair of the State Planning Commission, Larry McKinley. I'm calling this September 30th Planning Commission meeting for the City of State into order. First, I'd like to do a roll call quickly. We'll have the commissioners, starting with Dixie on my right. Dixie Eller, here. Richard Lewis. Pete Bellis. All right, and is Amy online yet or not? Okay, we do have a quorum, so we can, we can move forward. There are three land use issues before the commission tonight. One is a continuation of a hearing on the um, application for preliminary partition of the property at 313 North Evergreen, which we addressed two months ago and had a continuation last month. And we are holding a hearing on that decision tonight for land use. The second is a land use hearing um, on amendment to the interchange development zone to allow general merchandising. And last month we made a decision not to forward that, to not make a decision on that and leave it as is. The city has asked us to put that and document that in writing. So tonight we will hold a hearing, document that decision with a vote, and then I will sign that and we'll go forward. The third hearing is a for a continuation of the application for site plan review. Um, we had a continuation for that last month. That hearing has reached the 90, the 90 days it's allowed, it's gonna cross over the 90 days allowed for land use decision. And they are requesting 120 days, 120 days, 120 days. And they are requesting, the attorneys are requesting extension out to at least to no more than 245 days on that. So that's the three hearings we have before us tonight. So with that said, I would like to uh, go ahead and open the land use or continue the land use hearing for file number 3-01-24, an application for preliminary partition plan, divide 313 North Evergreen Avenue located in medium density residential zone. But before we do that, let's go to the minutes. I forgot to approve the minutes. Anybody have any comments on the minutes from last month? Motion to approve. So motion. Second. I'll okay. All by saying aye. aye. And that carries. Now back to the land use hearing. So um, at this time, is there additional applicant presentation? No. Okay. Um, questions from the commission? Do we remember, are you? Well, we were, the, uh, the applicant was trying to work out some uh, concessions with the city over what things has that made any progress yes yes it has um so there were um there was a condition um about the non-remonstrative agreement and we reworded it to say that if a improvement was required that we will make the non-remonstrative agreement say that a f only it would only be in effect if a full right of way uh was redone so if the whole street was redone so that they're not on the hook for just doing part of the street um so that was one of the things the other thing was the um width of the sidewalk um the public works director has the ability to um, waive um, that. So we left it in more vague in the conditions to allow the public works director to make it a little bit smaller. And if you remember on uh, North Evergreen, they have a fence and they didn't want it a full six feet. They wanted it about 57 feet. So it's, I mean, it's 57 inches, uh, which is close to six feet. And the, the house uh, right across the street uh, was given a waiver to have a smaller uh, side, sidewalk as well. So we felt like that was justifiable, uh, the fact that there's already two existing houses there. Um, the other one was the right of way area um, that we agreed to take the right of way area, um, for them to dedicate it to us because it would, it would involve too much, um, uh, it, it would end up being a little bit more, um, 
complicated when the time would come when we'd upgrade the road. Uh, and also I made the point that the public utilities is 10 feet after the right of way. So it would be confusing where exactly the public utilities would go in if you had like this flexible area for public right away. So those were the things that we um, negotiated or, and, and we negotiated them because there's already existing houses on there. You know, it's not a full development. So, um, and uh, Levi, the applicant's uh, engineer is online. He can answer any questions and Julie is here too as well. Uh, was there one other um, uh, issue with the width of the sidewalk that goes along Ida that they wanted to match it to that what the existing houses are as well? Um, yes. So we, we made it flexible the for okay. them to, yeah. to work Perfect. with public okay. works. So both Evergreen and? And Ida, Perfect. yes. Instead of putting a fixed amount, we said... Uh, per per the discretion of right. okay. public works. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Any other questions from the commission? Yeah. So this, uh, is this ready to go? Okay? It is ready to go. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. And so Ross can be here um, tonight, but Levi and and I and I said Julie, you should probably come just in case, so that they know that what I'm saying is yeah. right. <laughs> All right. Any other questions from the commission? Thank you. All right. Very good. So I'm assuming there's not an applicant summary. If there were no starting points. Is there after everything you've said? Yeah. Does Levi want to okay. speak at all? No, I'm good. He said he's good. Okay. Is there any additional staff summary? After no. Just gave. Okay. Very good. If that's the case, we will close the hearing at this time. And I will open up deliberation from the commission. So based on what I'm seeing, we have the city and the applicant have come to an agreement on what the points of conflict were with the initial application and the city. I think at this point, I mean, I've been watching the improvements on the line. I compliment you on the improvements on the house on the corner of Ida and Evergreen. That's a huge improvement. And uh, I think this will benefit that lot and make it a much more usable space. Any other uh, comments from anybody on the commission? If that's the case, then I would entertain in motion. Um, I motion that we approve, oh, sorry. Uh, I motion that we approve the uh, plan. That's, what is, where, where's my, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I move State and Planning Commission approve the application for a preliminary plan for Cardboard Box LLC and Ross Boscher, Boschler for 313 North Evergreen Avenue land use file number 301-24 and adopt the draft order presented by staff. Is there a second? Dixie Lynn seconded that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Very good. This hearing is so the commission's decision may be appealed to the city of Staten Council within 14 days of the mailing of the notice of the decision in accordance. And at that point, I'm going to close this hearing. Done. All right. So the second hearing today is on the us documenting the decision we made last month with regarding to amendment to the interchange development zone. So good evening. My name is Larry McKinley. I am the chairperson of the State and Planning Commission. I will be presiding over this hearing. This is the time and place set for the public hearing in the matter of land use file 9-08-24, a legislative amendment to a permit use with site plan review general merchandise stores in the interchange development zone. This hearing is now open. Oregon land use law requires a statement be made to those in the tenants that cover certain matters relative to this case. That statement with all the information required to be presented under ORS 197.797 BOLEG 5 is printed and available at the back counter. 
If you have not yet received one of these forms, you should go get one and review it prior to presenting your testimony. If anyone has any questions regarding anything on the statement or objects to it not being read out loud, please raise those questions when it comes to your turn to speak during the hearing. Also at the back counter is the agenda for this evening's meeting, which lays out the order in which people will be called to speak during the public hearing. The Planning Commission's rules, procedures for land use public hearings, and a brochure written to facilitate your participation in the public hearing. You are encouraged to attain and read a copy of these documents as well. At this time, I would like to ask the audience if there are any objections to the notice that was sent out in this case. Hearing none to the jurisdiction of this body to hear and consider this case. Hearing none, are there any declarations of conflict or interest, ex parte contact or bias by any members of this body? I hear none. We are now ready for the staff introduction and report. Okay, um, so due to procedural issues, um, a public hearing for the proposed text will take place on today. Um, the Planning Commission is to provide a written recommendation, either for or against um, the proposal. I wrote up one against um, the proposal because that's what you pretty much decided at the last, um, at the last meeting. Um, we just wanted it in writing. I just want to mention that I did receive a call um, of, of a resident um, who did not like the idea of um, general merchandise in this area. And I also had an email come to me, I could, uh, which I included in your staff report. It's um, uh, staff Hayton. Uh, I won't say her address. Um, I don't know if I should just read it. Um, Turner, Almsville, Mill City, Salem, Silverton, Jefferson are all towns that have Dollar General stores which surround the city of Staten. There are over $100 general stores in Oregon. Dollar General has a distributed distribution center close to I-5. This really helps Dollar General in its expansion. Usually Dollar General stores are places in economic depressed areas. Is Staten an economically depressed area? Does Staten have businesses that would be hurt by having a Dollar General? Staten has prided itself with improving the downtown business area by having a Dollar General store, Staten would be willing to stop growth in the downtown. Is that what the city of Staten really wants? Let Staten have quality and not quantity. The city of Staten should be concerned about its business community and not jump into the business, which would degrade the city. Please vote against this idea. And that's, that's oh. all. Right. So it's time for questions from the commission. I guess I would like to make a point that this hearing is not addressing a Dollar General store. This hearing is only addressing an amendment to the interchange development zoning criteria to add general merchandising as a eligible applicant for that, that zone. All right, is there any discussion or questions I should say from the commission? Hearing none, anything, any questions from the public, testimony from the public other than that email statement? Hearing none, staff summary. Yeah, I would like to read the findings of fact that I that I wrote down as part of the recommendation for denial. So we are all on the same page. Um, so I s said the parcels in the interchange zone are part of the sublimity interchange area management uh, adopted in November 2006. And the uses in the interchange development area need careful consideration due to its proximity to the interchange. Two, the city desires to have land developed in a manner that promotes health, safety, peace, comfort, convenience, economic well-being, and general welfare of the city of Staten. Three, the Staten Comprehensive Plan, EC4, states, it is the policy of the city to discourage commercial development at Highway 22. Four, the action item under policy EC4 states that the city shall continue the interchange development zone near the two highway 22 interchanges to limit 
commercial uses too travel oriented. Five, the State and Planning Commission has determined that the number 17 general merchandise use is not travel oriented. Those, that's thank you, I, thank you. With that, I'm going to close the hearing. And is there any deliberation from commission members? Mr. Chairman? Yes. There are three reasons I don't support this amendment. One, a general merchandise store is not compatible with the interchange zone concept and which is outlined by the Director of Community and Economic Development. Two, the proposed increase in the size of the building, whether 8,000 square feet or 10,000 square feet, as the most direct entrance to our city, a warehouse sized store located within the general merchandise, located with general merchandise, would be the most visible detraction from the other businesses in this zone, which were built pursuant to the interchange zone requirement. Three, land is bought and sold. Buildings go down and new buildings go up. This proposed addition would significantly change what's allowed to go up in the future, both in businesses, ventures, and building sizes. Thank you. Thank you. Other discussion? So I think the key to remember is the interchange development zone was zoned that way so that anyone driving up and down Highway 22, that was a view shed that would attract people in to the state community. And so that's why there's things like restaurants and a bank and things like gas station. It pulls people off the highway that might be just transiting back and forth to come into our area and spend money. It, and I agree, I don't know that a Dollar General meets that, meets that requirement. So um, if there's no more deliberation, hearing that, so I would accept a motion to uh, put into writing what we have heard. to the city council that the general merchandise stores use should not be added to table 17.16.070.1 for any land use under the interchange development ID zone. Adopting the draft order as presented, I move the state planning commission recommend to the city council land use code not be amended to allow Number 17, general merchandise use in the interchange development ID zone. And I've given the draft order presented by staff. Is there a second? Okay. Commissioner Lund, second that. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Hearing is, uh, hearing is closed. We're closing the hearing. Now, just a general statement on that. Um, the next issue item that we're going to consider is a continuation to the site plan review for a dollar general. And so today, before you, I should just get into the hearing, I guess the big part of it is the continuation is being requested to do that. So I'll just, I'll just move into that. My paper. Oh, I got it. Okay, so good evening. My name is Larry McKinley. I am the chairperson of the State and Planning Commission, and I will be continuing the public hearing in the matter of land use file number 1006-24, an application for a site review to develop a vacant lot at 101 Whitney Street and interchange development zone into a 10,600 and 64, 640 square foot commercial building for a proposed Dollar General, including parking access and landscaping. All right, so any staff introduction on that? Sure. Um, so um, I they hired, uh, Dollar General hired an attorney in Oregon. Um, 
to, uh, and they asked, and their attorney asked for a continuance on this um, site plan review. And I think that that is uh, understandable, not knowing if it could actually be in that zone. Um, so I think that that's what should be done. Okay. Is there an applicant? Not hearing yeah. one. Questions from the commission? I guess what the way I look at this is if we were to not approve this and they were to take it to city council and city council were to say, planning commission, consider this and we closed it, then the whole process would have to start over again with notifying associate property owners and everybody else, all the administrative things. The smart move on the commission would be to continue this hearing depending on this, if the decision is even taken to the city council, which I don't know if it will or won't be, but that way it, it's the most, you know, good use of manpower to continue this hearing based on any pending outcome decisions from the city council. Any questions on that? No? Okay. All right. All right. So if there's no other Questions from the commission? Um, questions from the public? I don't think so. Applicant summary? Not here. Staff summary? Um, nothing else. Okay. All right. So I'm going to close the hearing. Is there any other deliberation from the commission? Oh, excuse me. No, we're not. Staff summary. Then we close the hearing. And then we start the discussion. Oh, you don't want to close it. We don't want, you no, want to right, keep it open. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. Thank you very much for that. So keep it open. We are going to, is there a, we need a recommendation to need a motion, a motion to, to continue you. to allow this to continue. One second. Okay. So the motion was made by commissioner Lund to continue, keep it open and seconded by Richard, so any further discussion? If not, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion to continue carries. That said, that is the business for this evening. Is yes. There anything else from the from planning? There is. I have one thing that I wanted to hand out to you. Um, the planning department is working on a downtown core parking study uh, so this is for anybody who goes in the downtown core uh, and parks either residents building owners business owners and customers so i'll hand out a flyer it's a yeah thank you thank you wendy um it's got a little q code if you know how to use those um qr code qr code mm -hmm. um but, mm, Yes. If you already done that, done it, that's great. That's wonderful. Um, I think that it knows when you, if, if you've done it before. So at least that's what Christian told me. Yeah, give one to Julie. I, I already you already did, did but do you, do you have anybody to give it to? Oh, good, good, good. So I, I guess what I would say, having worked, worked on inner city planning, for parking. It's probably one of the most controversial subjects you'll get involved with when you talk about number of parking spaces in front of a business, or if you're taking parking spaces for bulb outs at crosswalks, for safety, for pedestrians. It's, it's, it's an involved decision. The other thing is off street parking is always the big discussion point also. Is there off, a location for off street parking if you're bringing people in downtown area where they can park and that's designated. So big discussions, good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Anything yeah, else? Is there, is there anything that happened with the ice, ice house that uh, was planned there on the parking lot? You, you know, I don't remember seeing any, mm -mm. any building permits because no. usually I see the building permits yep. after they get approval. Where is it? This the is ice the ice house. This is with Jim. So this would have happened right before. The one that yeah. On Washington there by, yes. Yeah, it just died. So far. Somebody else yeah. even 
try to do something after that. Huh. Yeah, I think you're right. They have like a year to to get a building permit. Okay. Oh. Cool. And the property that's No, um, the no. Oh, the partition. It's already. It's 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 in the process of being partitioned. Yes, it is. Yeah. And um, the Norpac site, they are continuing to try to lease it, so that is still happening. Yeah. Any other any other comments for planning commission? If not, then I will close the hearing. Thank you. Straightforward. You're welcome. All right. Have a good one, Julie. Something for me to sign? Yeah, how about that?